Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Masala pana makrude kaswa. Mesunta de 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 keshki prada. Likanta prade sikata la prade. Meke ndiki zibele ikondo boshi la kalada. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Masore baba suna naka. Masunte de dia da bashikata. Mesurambala bashokrati ana masete ya. Ele kete basunda na namaka. Raba basote kete parikata. Glorious Father, glorious Father. Melaka de bona. Masunte kete kete. Ancient of days, glorious Father. Masote na makuta baba ya. Rebe bebe sunte kete blusha. Masunte kete bradu shaka kaka karabasia. Begin to honor the name of the Lord, somebody. Begin to honor the name of the Lord, somebody. Begin to honor the name of the Lord, somebody. Masule kena makuna kadesh. Rapa pa no sunte de de boshikata. Mesunte de ne kobuda. Leke te be sunte na 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 boshikata rabaha. Rapa pa na pa. Rapo de le boshiki digi digi ya. Remo sunte kete liya. Mesonte kete li kradesha. Rapa mazu brende ke shukate. Leke te mo su krade. Mesu branda kashia. Leke te besunta nanania. Makro te ke su brandi shata. Masonte kete briaga. Ramo sonte kete li bradesha. Mako te balalisa. Honor the name of the Lord somebody. Honor the name of the Lord somebody. Mela sunte ke de bringa na kashia. Masonte te le koto brungada. Eke te bo su branda na la bo shikata. Honor the name of the Lord, somebody. Masonte le baba baru shaka. Masete keti adala. Ikrini masubra dara. Even when I do not see the result, now you start the more. You can finish. Oh, I choose to trust you daily, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Asha koko baba sunte rebosh, me subranda kashinte keti la brida. Raba baba sunte ne mo subrede shahai, ma sukle kete be suranda la baba baru de desha. Me si brada da da ba shikere. As the sun is playing in the background, just honor the name of the Lord. Just honor the name of the Lord. Say my father, my father. Today. I choose to give you all the praise and all the glory. Eka baba basonte ketele bosha, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Say I honor you, Jesus. Mara mato konte basukitiya, mesoko to balika tabade, erempe tele bosa kata. Take this time and just honor the Lord. Just honor the Lord. Just honor the Lord, somebody. Masule kente bo shikriti kete. Rapa pa masonto no mosuku tulibis. Repa pa bo sunte le baba sekete. Iki ni mama mama kata. Ere pete ketusha. Rapa nto ko sukete. Makuta pa sente ketura. Rapa pa baba sokoto. Your presence oh father. Masinte nenene kesha. You are the ancient of days. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the great I am that I am. With what is impossible for you. You are the Lord our God. There is nothing impossible for you. You are the beginning, the middle and the end. You are the ancient of days. The unmovable mover. The unchangeable changer. We lift up our voices and worship and adoration. We've come to say how much we love you. 
how much we are doing. A compara ki kukuria gada. Is there anyone that is watching me right now that is grateful to God? Is there anyone that is watching me right now and you are grateful to God for His goodness? You are grateful to God for His mercy and you are saying, Father, I thank you for what you have done and what you have started because you will bring it to an end. Lift up your voices in appreciation and say, Father, I thank you for my life, for everything that you have done. Lift up your voices in appreciation. We are children are gathered here to say thank you, Father. We are grateful for the gift of life. We are grateful for health. We are grateful for your mercy. Father, we have made many mistakes. Thank you for your mercy. Makudebe shugrebe kosulaba. Masubrende keturaba. Rebebe suntele keta. Thank you for your mercy, Father. Thank you for your mercy, Father. Thank you for your mercy, Father. You look past our sins. You look past our guilt. And you poured your love on us. You look past our sins. You look past our guilt and you pour your love on us. Thank you, Father, for nobody can do the things that you do. Nobody can do the things that you do. We say thank you. Oh, Sharana Nina Kuna Thank you, Jesus. 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 We say thank you, Father. Almighty Father, thank you. Almighty Father, thank you. I have nothing to give you just to say thank you, Lord. Almighty Father, thank you. I have come into your presence just to say thank you, Lord. Almighty Father, thank you. Almighty Father, thank you. Almighty Father, thank you. I have come into your presence just to say thank you, Lord. Almighty Father, thank you. Almighty Father, thank you. Almighty Father, thank you. I am here in your presence just to say thank you, Lord. Almighty Father, thank you. Hallelujah. God is good, somebody. God is good. Welcome everybody that is watching. Welcome everybody. Welcome. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I'm sure I'm going to mention your names and pray for you before this session comes to an end. But I acknowledge you. I see your messages. I see all your texts. You're welcome. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. I have a word from God for you. And I'm pleading with you. I don't want to, you know, take some time. I could have called everybody's name, but not now. I'm going to do that at the end of the session. Just give me 15 minutes of your time. 20 minutes of your time. Let me share this word that I have for you today. Let me share this word. This is like a direct prophetic word to someone. You are at a stage in your life where you are at a stage in your life where you thought things were getting better. <laughs> you thought things were actually getting better. But right now you don't understand what is happening. Maybe you were not there now, but you used to be there. Or you are going to come to a place like that. God has sent me with this message just for you. And it's going to save you in a season like this. Yes, please like the video and please share. Please like the video and please share. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for using me today. Father, use me to send your word to somebody. Let someone's life change as a result of this session. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have been following these sessions for long, been in YouTube, I've been on YouTube for almost two years. And if you've been connecting and following the sessions, you would know that there is hardly a time 
that I end a live session without mentioning one character in the Bible. Let me know if there's someone who knows that character. There's this character in the Bible that I always talk about. I always share his life lessons. Who knows that character? Lisa, did you, do you know Naomi? Who? Anybody. Anybody can say there is this particular character in the Bible that I always talk about. I always, almost all the time, even my prophetic words. Yes, Kathy Scott. Yes. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. Yes. Oh, Kathy Scott. Shows you have been following up. I think I should prepare a gift for you. Yes, Naomi, Joseph. Yes, Leah Harrison, Joseph. Yes. <laughs> I always talk about him because his life to me is so relatable to our lives now. There are so many lessons you can learn from his story. So many lessons and so many things you can learn from his story that will help you avoid a lot of mistakes. You see, looking at Joseph's story, you will realize that it was full of what I can call up and down. Ah, I wouldn't want to say it up and down because every season has its purpose. You know, there are, there's a time in your life you, you're so hopeful and you feel like everything that you ask for or you feel like the puzzle is coming back together. Then after some time, you don't know what to do again. You're at that point where you're confused, you're stuck, and it feels like you don't have anything figured out. Well, let me start by reminding you, brothers and sisters in Christ, that when God gives you a message, he hardly tells you how the process is going to look like. Haha, <laughs> it's true. You will receive a prophetic word, clothing, you're going to be a great woman, an international lady, but God never reveals to you the process to the greatness. So sometimes the road to where you're going to might be too rough that you are tempted to think you're on the wrong path. Listen to this clearly. This wisdom is going to save your life. Sometimes the road to where God, not even sometimes, every time. You see, when God calls Joseph, Genesis chapter 12, God, uh, when God called Abraham, I'm sorry, in Genesis chapter 12, Verse 2, the Bible says, God speaking to Abraham, Abraham says, I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you and I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I will curse and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. This is God speaking to Abraham. And the same God tells Abraham that you are going to be a father of many nations. But as we are talking at this point, Abraham has no child. So God has already given him, shown him how his future is going to be like. It's the same case with Joseph. Joseph was still young when he had the prophetic visions of people, even his family members bowing down to him. And he was dreaming all those dreams and he saw the future that he was going to. But he never had any idea that he was going to be a slave somewhere, that he was going to go to prison somewhere before he finally even gets to the throne. And I'm sure he had no idea that he was going to rule in another land. You have to come to terms with the fact that the road to the promise that God has given you will not be easy. When you have this understanding, you focus on God and you don't even see the challenge. One of the reasons why God doesn't tell you how the process is going to look like is so that you can depend on him. If you're writing it, something down, you can write this. Why will God hide the process? Why will God give you, yes, you are going to be great, amen, you are going to be a powerful lady, amen, you are going to, amen, amen. How is, is it going to happen there? How is none of our business is left to God? God calls Abraham and tells Abraham, pack your things, Abraham, and go to a land that I will show you. The, the issue with us Christians is that we like to sit on the same place and say, God, where? How is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? It's not your place to know how it's going to happen. It's your place to believe that it will happen. God has said it. I believe it. And that settles it. A few days ago, I was a little worried about something. And then I remember that God had spoken to me concerning it. 
and I had my peace. I'm not going to worry about this. I'm just going to believe. Is there anyone that is following this session? Let me see your comments coming up so that I know you're still connected. Just believe. Just believe. The Bible says, even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, God is with me. I'm paraphrasing the scripture. It means there's definitely going to be a time when you might walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But the aim of that is not to kill you, but to just make you stronger and better. Well, know this and have peace. Please, know this and have peace. I don't want you to believe or be on the side of the Christianity that makes you think everything is supposed to be all rosy and nice. Even Jesus, the Bible says he learned obedience by the things he suffered. Even Jesus went through the cross to get the glory. Sometimes it's not going to be easy. But I don't want you to give up on God. I don't want you to feel like God has abandoned you. I don't want you to feel like God is no longer there. I want you to believe in God, focus on God, and believe that he will see you through and take you to the place where you have to be. It's normal that from time to time, you find yourself in a place where you don't know what to do. Where you feel stuck. Where you feel like... You see, Joseph went to give food to his brothers because his brothers were taking care of cattle. So his father sent him to check on his brothers and to also give them food. But his brothers hated him. They were jealous of him. Why were they jealous of him? For one reason only, because he was a dreamer, because he was a visionary. And in his dreams, he would tell his brothers that he saw them bowing down to him. So they hated him for that. So this day, Joseph's father sent Joseph to give them food where they were taking care of the cattle far, far away from the land. When they saw Joseph coming from a distance, they said, here comes the dreamer. Let us kill him. They made a plan to kill him. But when he came, they didn't kill him. They threw him into a pit. And when some traders were passing by, they took him and sold him off as a slave to Egypt. He went to Egypt. At this time, he's feeling like, God, what is happening? I want you to listen to this story and try to look at your life and see if there is a similarity in it. If you notice that it's similar in any way, know that God is still in control. God is still in control. Even at this point where you're confused, God is in control. Even at this point where you're frustrated, God is in control. Even at this point where you don't know what to do, God is in control. I want you to type at the comment section and shout it as loud as you can say, God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. So you see, Joseph is at this point where he's now confused. Did I not have a vision? The, the woman of God gave me a prophetic word. I connected with a seed to this prophetic word. I had a dream about this. All the pastor told me this. All the prophet. Is it that the prophet is wrong? Is it that this woman of God is fake? Is it that? So you're there like Joseph. Remember, this is not just a story. It's a real life experience. Joseph is there confused. And Joseph is there even doubting the voice of God. Did I even hear God well? Did I even hear God well? What is happening to me? Why am I a slave? I thought from here I would go to a school of administration from the school of administration. I sign up to work in the king's palace from there I become a king. What is happening to me? I know that you have somehow been at that point where you doubt the prophetic word. Where you doubt the message. Where you doubt and you feel frustrated and you feel tired. Just, just type and say, God is in control. Call your name. Type it, put your name in that sentence. Call your name. Say, Risa, God is in control. God is in control. Say it until you believe it. 
So the story continues. Joseph goes into Potiphar's house. And Potiphar was a government official. And I'm sure at this point, Joseph is saying, wow, the puzzle is coming back together. God did this for a purpose. God brought me to Potiphar's house. And from Potiphar's house, somehow, God is going to link me to the presidency. Because Potiphar is a government official. So I'm sure Joseph goes back to his place of worship and says, Father, I'm sorry for the times I complained. I now see that the plan you have for me is good. I am just not too far from becoming the dreams that I used to dream. And to further confirm Joseph's feeling, the Bible says that Potiphar kept him in charge of everything that he had, excluding his wife. So I'm sure this at this time, Joseph goes back with a thanksgiving offering and says, Oh God, Almighty Father, thank you. The puzzle is coming together. Uh, uh, Potiphar has now kept me in charge. The next thing is that Potiphar will want to carry me to great meetings. From there, the king is going to know about me. One thing will lead to another and I will be a ruler. Father, thank you because everything I have hope. At this moment, Joseph has hope. Just like you, there have been moments where you have hope. You know that this is the time I feel like my marriage is coming. This is the time I feel like the job is coming. This is the time I feel like everything is settled. You have hope. You feel like the puzzle has come together. And at this point, something happens. There is a false accusation and Joseph finds himself in prison. Your own might not be a prison like Joseph's case. But maybe you find yourself back at the place where you are jobless, where you are without a relationship, where you don't even have any money, where you don't, everybody is standing against you. At some point, the puzzle was coming together and there was hope, but now you are confused. Just type and say, God is in control. Don't stop typing. Say, God is in control. 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 So you're at this point and you're like, my hope is lost. I thought everything was getting better. I thought, woman of God, you lied to me. I had a vision. I heard God, but it's not true. Everything is fake. You guys are all fake. I don't understand what is happening. My life has gone back. It's shattered. God is in control. God is in control. God is still in control. God is so in control. Just like the days when everything was normal, God was in control. And now when things seem not to be normal and you're miserable and you're frustrated and you're confused, God is still in control. Oh, Leah Harrison is confirming this word. God is still in control, I tell you. Don't lose hope. Don't lose focus. God is still in control. I feel so emotional. I don't know. I, I feel like God is speaking to somebody through me directly. You can't figure everything out. It seems like all hope is lost. You're just turning into to prayer sessions for let me just tune in what else can i do you're just going to church like let me just go to church ah what else can i do yeah at that point you're feeling like god what i'm stuck god is in control god is in control god is still in control joseph is in prison it's not one month it's not two months Month after month, I'm sure he's there thinking he made a mistake. He's there thinking the devil is fighting his life. He's there thinking his life is lost. It is at the point that Joseph was that many people commit suicide. Because it's like you're falling from glory. Do you know that Joseph controlling Potiphar's wealth entails that he was a big man? He was signing deals for Potiphar. He was attending meetings on behalf of Potiphar. He was a big man. I'm sure he had great connections. But at this time, he's in prison and there is nobody for him. No friend, no brother, no sister, even his family turned their backs on him. Someone, you're at that point in your life right now. 
You feel alone. You feel rejected. You feel abandoned. You've been hurt so bad that you don't know what to do. God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. Mention your name. God is still in control. It's like a fall from grace. You tell yourself, I used to touch millions. What's happening? I used to touch hundreds of thousands. What's happening? I felt like this relationship was going to lead to marriage. What's happening? I felt like my... My business, my marriage, my life, everything was coming together and was making sense. Now I don't understand anything. What's happening? That is the state where many people get depressed and even commit suicide. That was the state where Joseph was and he was in prison. At this time, he has lost hope. How am I still going to? It's not even easy for a prisoner to become a king. You know, there are some countries that even have restrictions. If you have already been to prison, it's already stamped in the system that you have been to prison for whatever cause. Uh, in my country, there is a certain document that you cannot possess. I just kept my, that document just kept my mind. Which document is this? There's a certain document you cannot, you don't have the privilege to possess if you are an ex-convict. If you have ever been to prison. And it's an important national document that you need. But if you've ever been to prison, you cannot have it. So long as the system has registered that you've ever been to prison. It's difficult for a prisoner to ever even think of having, of being a cleaner in the king's palace. So Joseph is there. Just like where you are now, feeling hopeless, feeling tired. He said, God, you know what? I'm tired. When I expect, I get disappointed. Everything, Lord, I am tired. Lord, I am tired. God is still in control. He will never leave you. He said that he won't forsake you. He will stand beside you. And that is all that matters. He will not leave you. He said that he won't forsake you. He will stand beside you, and that is all that matters. For he is a covenant keeping God. Oh, God is a covenant keeping God. He'll never leave you. He said that he won't forsake you. He will stand beside you, and that is all that matters. God is still in control. God is still in control. And there's this songwriter that says, I'll still praise you in the middle of the storm when I don't know what to do. Says, I'll still praise you when I'm confused in the middle of the storm. When I'm desperate and frustrated and miserable. I don't know what to do, say, so I will still praise you. For you are the covenant-keeping God. You are the covenant-keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant-keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant-keeping God. You never leave me. You said that you wouldn't forsake me. You will stand beside me. And that is all that matters. It's just part of the process. It's just part of the process. One day, just like every other day. And I want you to notice something before I go to the next point. You see, even in the midst of this, Joseph was still doing the, 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 the work of God. The Bible says two prisoners came. Even in prison, he was the head prisoner. <laughs> he was in charge. He was kept as in the, the prisoner in charge, you know. So he's probably going around doing checks this day, and he meets two people that are prisoners, and they are worried. And they have worked with the king. And he still interprets their dream. There's a prophetic word I shared some time ago, and I said, 
Don't let anybody's attitude, character, or behavior change you. Don't let their bad attitude change you. Be a good person. That's where your miracle is. Joseph has been betrayed. Joseph has been sold off. Joseph has been wrongly accused. Joseph has been hurt. But in the midst of all that, he's still doing the work of God. The Bible says he sees two people that are worried. He goes to them and tells them and asks them what is wrong. They explain his pro their problem to him and he still gives them a solution. He still gives them a solution. He didn't say, I'm not going to help anybody. Every other person I've helped has disgraced me. Every other person I've helped has turned their backs on me. Every other person I've helped has... Joseph didn't say that. He just went ahead and interpreted their dream. And that was the beginning of his miracle. You see, I came to announce to you that God is faithful. And the state where you are now, the state where you are tired and feeling miserable and frustrated, you are at the last stage of your greatest breakthrough. The darkest hour comes before dawn. You know that, right? When it's about to be done, it is darker. You feel like things are getting better. But at some point, you don't know what to do again. You're confused. Leah Harrison, God is in control. Confidence, my paper, God is in control. God is in control, everybody. God is in control. I want you to make this prayer for me and say, Lord, I surrender to you. From today, take charge of my life. I want you to just say, Lord, I surrender to you. Take charge of my life. Fix it for me. Hmm. That's a very powerful prayer. That's a very, very, very powerful prayer. It's like saying, I surrender all to you. Say, Lord, from today, take charge of my life. Fix it for me. Unto Jesus I surrender. Unto him I freely give. You say, Lord, if I handle this on my own, it's going to be a mess. Fix it for me. God, take charge. Oh, you made that same prayer last December. I'm glad, Clovin Baptist, I'm glad that this message has lifted your spirit. That's the work of the Holy Spirit, touching people through his word. God, fix it for me. God, fix it for me. Take total control. Be in charge. Oh, Shankaba, I feel a breeze of peace. A breeze of peace. Thank you, Jesus. Masonte Baba Shuki Dibaraj. Rapapanto Kosunke Keke Papa Pasa. Someone I see order coming to your life. That's what I see in the realm of the spirit. And I hear order. I don't know what this means. God says he's arranging the things for you. Oh, probably because we prayed and said God should fix it. Because I see order. More like angels are doing an arrangement. I think I should share that prophetic word. Oh, I don't have my pen with me. I pray I remember. I see God bringing order to your life. Everything about your life was just cut up this way. I see God putting everything together. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. God will fix it for you. Rejoice. God is fixing it for you. God is fixing it for you. In the name of Jesus. As we are about to run off this session, let me mention your names and pray for you. For those who are not able to follow up with this session, there's going to be a replay of this session. In some few hours, I think I'll put it at um, maybe 5 p.m. West African time. You don't know? 5 p.m. West African time, I'll replay this session. So go back and watch it again. 
invite someone to watch with you, share with someone, and also connect again. If you were blessed by this word, listen to it again and again. Let me mention your names and just declare a blessing on you. Remember, I've told you a blessing is the power to succeed conferred on someone. The power to succeed. That's why when someone says, God bless you, every aspect of your life is affected because it means I have conferred on you the power to succeed. And blessings are words spoken from a happy heart, from a good heart, released in the name of the Lord, and it begins to work. You're blessed, Louis Harrison. God bless you, Cloven Baptist. God bless you, Naomi River. In the name of Jesus. Just begin to comment. Let me mention your name. God bless you, Confidence Mapiba. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, Lisa Gempu. Oh, Lisa Gempu. Oh, Lisa Gempu. Oh, Lisa Gempu. Lisa Gempu. Thank you, Jesus, for Lisa Gempu. Thank you, Jesus, for Lisa Gempu. I don't know why I just felt. God bless you, Cynthia Bristol. God bless you, Clovin Baptiste. God bless you, Tiotha Smith. Every one of you that are consistent in this family, in this group, God bless you. God bless you. Every session I see your names. Ah, God bless you. God bless you, Cynthia Noah. God bless you, Kathy Scott. God bless you, Lucky and Scott. God bless you, Sarah Hawkins. God bless you, Confidence Mapeba. Cosmos Daniel, God bless you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where is Iskia? Iskia is not here today. God bless her wherever she is. Thank you, Jesus. Makum Parababa. Is there someone's name that I've not mentioned? Nas Bilingi. God bless you. Jamal Fabian, God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Now, I've been just talking and sharing the word of God with you as we are having our appreciation. Jamal, okay, I, Fabian, God bless you, Jesus. As uh, we, we are having our appreciation session, I want to give you an opportunity. If you want to give an offering, you want to connect yourself with a seed, for whatever reason, maybe you're trusting God for something, or you're just happy for this session and the word of God has touched your life, you want to connect with a seed, you can do so now. As we lift up our voices to appreciate God for this session, this is the right time for you to do that. I want to, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. You know, I've taught many lessons on giving and seed sowing and maybe just for people that are just tuning in, but those who have been here before, they know how important it is. We have a Telegram group, everybody. Thank you for sharing Clothing Baptist. You can be a member of our Telegram group and you will always be notified when I'm coming live. And also, um, yes, any other thing, we have a Bible study plan going on. Some people catch up and they draw, but I'm happy some people are still continuing. We are on it, studying the Bible. Our aim is to complete the entire Bible in one year. So we have scriptures that you have to study every day. It's very important for your spiritual growth. Just click the Telegram link and you will join our group. So if you want to give a connection seed or an offering, you can do so now. Father, thank you. Thank you. Lift up your voices and appreciate it. Appreciate it for this session. Do like the video if you have not. Thank you for tuning in if this was your first time. Join us same time tomorrow for another powerful session in His presence. Hallelujah. Appreciate God somebody. Makabaya Kasuri Dekishia. Naomi says today's session was another powerful one. Thank you, Lady Risa. God bless you. We thank the Lord. All the glory goes to Jesus. God bless you for your seed, Lisa Gimpope, and God increase you in the name of Jesus. I pray for a hundredfold harvest. I pray for a hundredfold harvest. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm waiting for you, every one of you. If you have a prayer request you want to attach a seat to or you just want to give an offering, a donation whatsoever. We have a program coming up in the month of September. And I've had people that are already supporting and donating towards that program. God bless you. We have, God has laid in my heart for us to give full scholarship to about 30, 30 children in some very poor communities. Give them an opportunity to have good education. I mean, I'm going to show you. I'm going to upload maybe some pictures or videos on our Telegram group so that you see. I believe that is the gospel. Reaching out to people, giving them hope, showing them that Jesus cares. Living the life of God in action. So we have about 30. And if we have more of you that are joining us to make this happen, we can increase it to 60. 60 of them, what we want to do is take care of their school fees, their books, their bags, everything, full scholarship. And Jesus takes the glory. God will take the glory. If you want to be part of that, you can also send me a message on Telegram. Amen. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. I said God bless you in the name of Jesus. I love you all. Oh, the roti banji, you're late, but God bless you. Follow the session. I want us all to come back here. 5 p.m. was African time. I'm going to replay this. All of us will watch and connect to the session again and watch with someone this time around. Amen. God bless you. Lady Risa, please pray for my other son who is currently looking for a new accommodation in the location where he is. God is giving it to him now in the name of Jesus. God will give him a space. It will be like an upstair building. I see him having a room up. It's like a story building. And he's going to have a space. See, I can see a space upstairs God has reserved for him. The answer to that prayer has come in the name of Jesus. Father, let it happen speedily. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you all, family. By the grace of God, I will see you same time tomorrow for another powerful session in his presence. I already set the live session for tomorrow and I set it early so that you can share. Please do share. Invite someone. Share. Invite someone. Don't be blessed alone. Invite someone to hear the word of the Lord. I love you. May the grace of the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us all in Jesus' name. And surely God... Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I love you so much. Shalom.